Okay, since we're salvaging parts here, I'm going to take the jet dry switch. I'm going to go after that, and then I'm going to go after the timer. So, it's got eight screws or so. Definitely a lot easier when you got a drill. And you can save, you can save the screws too. Um, another thing that often happens with dishwashers is the, the spring for the float cup, uh, not for, for the float cup, for the, for this soap dish. So basically when you rotate this around, your, your deal opens. Every once in a while you'll have someone go, hey, my, my soap dish won't latch close. And I should have showed you this before. But, so normally if went before your cycle, you can lock the deal, right? And then you'll rotate it and it'll open. Bam, popped open. But what happens sometimes is you get someone who has already rotated it to this cycle and something happened or whatever. And then they're like, hey, my, my soap dish won't stay shut. Well, you know, you gotta rotate it back around to the beginning of the cycle. And then now, of course, it's gonna stay shut. It happens more than you would think so anyway <laughs> the other thing that happens is there's a spring that goes on these so i'm going to try to show you here on this thing and move that up we're going to lock that closed so it's going to keep that out of the way and right here see this is the arm and what happens sometimes is the spring or the place where the spring sits oh boy I've used this timer before, so this timer I think is bad. Because it's unplugged. I know I changed one, I just... Was it this one? It was already It unplugged. had to be, it was already unplugged, yeah. And there's no other reason to do that, so... Uh, my normal practice to, to remind myself on something like this, you know, if I had a unit that I took parts from, is to scribble on it that way I know. And then this, this is uh, a lesson learned again at the moment that uh, if, if uh, you know, you use something and it's bad, scrib scribble on it with a Sharpie. Could have been one of those days where I couldn't find my Sharpie. It does happen. Um, anyway, so what I was wanting to show you, which is really hard to show, I showed it in another video, is finding a creative place to put this spring. And I showed you on, showed on different models and people got all mad at me in this video because it wasn't real clear. Well, i got to break it to you. It's, it's not real clear when you're changing it, when you're doing stuff either. It's just reality, so... On the other side of this is the heel, which I think pulls out or pops out. Yeah, so it pulls out, and then now we can take off the top. And look, there's a clear view of the spring. So what happens is sometimes is this post breaks, and when this post breaks, the spring goes flying, and then now you got a broken soap dish that won't operate. So the tricky thing you can do sometimes is if you had one that that post broke is finding another creative place that you could hang it on. You know, so obviously this one can just go back where it was, but if that post broke down so far, you know, maybe you could hang it a little lower, or maybe you could hang it somewhere else, but this is common to a lot of different dishwashers. Or maybe you can add a screw somewhere, you know, to find another place that you can anchor it to. Just saying sometimes you gotta think inside the box, outside the box, you know or something, a different place to set that screw, so it's a pretty easy fix for, for stuff. But it's part of it. The other thing that happens with these is when this latch is put up against here, it engages this switch here that you can hear, and so the dishwasher won't turn on unless this is engaged. Uh, we may have run into that a, a few days ago where we had one that wasn't working, and sometimes it's just like, you know, closed a different way it finds its position. 
Sometimes you can adjust. This actually has two screws that go under here on the latch piece right here. And you can adjust the position of this latch so that it pushes this button better, things like that. Sometimes you can adjust the level, the level of the feet to get a better seat, you know, so that things line up better and so that it actually latches better. This different stuff. Um, the other thing that's funny on these dishwashers is, is they have a built-in GFI. And so a lot of times it can trip that GFI. And then of course the dishwasher is not going to turn on and you literally have to take that trim plate off and, and reset the GFI. You know, it's a test and reset button to reset power to, to this particular dishwasher. That's a bunch of that dishwashers. <laughs>